Hey, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, SAPSD and ABAP League Support. Today, we are going to discuss about how to debug an outbound IDAC. It is continuation series on debugging for functional consultant. Let's get started. So there is an order 21075. So this order will trigger an outbound IDAC, I mean output. You see here, this order triggering an output ZRR. It's an IDAC output type. The medium here is 6. So whenever this output triggers, it will trigger an IDAC in the background. Okay. So there are some issues in that IDAC. There are some wrong data getting determined in any of the segments. Now we are going to debug it and understand how it's getting the values getting determined. Okay, if you see here, there is one icon services for object. If you click here and in the relationships, you see the list of IDAGs. But if you don't get this, uh, this icon in your system, then I'll tell you how to get this icon here. First, go to system, user profile, own data. If you go to parameters, and here you see that SD, SWU underscore active. So we should add this parameter and put X here. So in your system, if you don't have this uh, parameter, then add the parameter here and put as X here and save it and uh, log off and log in SAP. So when you do that, and this time you will get, you will see this icon here. So by clicking this icon, we have the button called relationships. If you click relationships, so then you see the list of IDACs triggered for this output types. So it will show incoming IDACs as well as outbound IDACs. And here you can see the message type as ORDRSP. That means it's an order response IDAC. That means an outbound IDAC. Okay, so let me double click on one of this IDAC. Okay, this IDAC is successfully triggered. And you see here, so many segments are here. So even a decay T1, even a decay 14, even a decay 14, W07, right? So the numbers, what we see here, it is in qualifiers, okay? Even a decay 14, W06, if you click this white icon, okay? If you click this one, it will show you the reason for this six qualifier. Six means it's a division. And if it is seven means it is distribution channel. So if you double click on this white small icon, you will get to know the behavior, the nature of this segment with the qualifier. Fine. So in that even EDK01 segment, currency has been updated as USD, right? So, for example, this is the issue now. So, you are expecting it should be Euro, but here it is USD. It's wrongly updating as USD here, but it should be updated as Euros only. Now, we need to debug and see how it is getting determined. So, before we are going to debug it, first, let's understand what is the function model which will be triggering this IDAC. Please remember that for every IDAC, there might be an associated function model will be there, which will be responsible to trigger the IDAC. Okay, now how to get that function model? So it's very easy to get the function model without checking anywhere in the system. Simple way is that, uh, go to SM, SC37, SE37 is a function builder. In SE37, 
we can get list of function models so if i for example we want to see the function model for this idoc okay so def default template is this one only idoc underscore okay and uh, this is in outbound idoc right outbound means out output outbound means we should mention output here underscore and uh, what is the message type here it's an order response that means o r d r s p that's it we got the function model now suppose if it's incoming idoc put it as input and if you know the function model suppose it's an order creation function model that means o r t e r s simple so this is a template idoc by default input is if it's inbound input if it's outbound it's output here it should be message type fine so we know the function model o r d r s p so another way to get the function model is based on the process code okay so for example if i go to we20 partner profile maintenance in we20 okay so what is the part of type here ls okay click on ls and what is the sending partner here apo clnt 800 and here we can see apo clnt 800 and what is the message type here ordr sp and uh, here for each and every partner profile we have two sections one outbound inbound parameters it's an outbound idoc right so, so look for our message type here in the outbound parameter section just click this drop down here you see the message type ordrsp double click on this one and uh, click on the tab message control and here you see our output type zwr and zwr has a process code sd10 right if you know that uh, process code sd10 then what we can do we can simply go to we41 and look for our uh, message code that is sd10 right sd10 and this is that process code double click here here is our function model or else simply in the w20 simply double click on the process code sd10 again we are coming to the same point right so these are the ways we need to identify the function model associated with that idoc message type okay okay now we are going to debug the issue we know we're going to debug the even a decade driven segment where and how the currency field getting populated as EVST. okay so if you closely observe this function model if you scroll down There is one perform available to populate the data into each and every segment. You see here, fill IDAC int tab. So this is the perform which will be called to populate the data into the segments. So double click here and apply watch point here. So double click inside this and uh, so the segment is even edk01 so here we have the one more perform even edk01 double click this one and our uh, okay here we don't have any qualifier right okay even edk01 segment and our field is currency k u c u r c y scroll down a little bit hmm. so based on this code only the currency getting determined apply watch point here sorry break point here okay now we have applied watch break point now let's see so if you know the function model means it will be very easy to identify how the data getting updated if you don't know the function model 
then it will be very challenging because debugging standard code is very tiring tiring actually okay any time debugging idoc means just know the background function module triggering for the idoc it may be inbound idoc or outbound idoc for every idoc there is an associated function module will be there for sure okay okay now what i will do let me assign the output type because when we assign the output type that time only the code will trigger now i'm going to extras output header edit okay so it's already assigned in yellow status if i save then the code will trigger i am saved now okay click on okay save see i saved it but still code didn't trigger even i applied the breakpoint why the code didn't trigger now the reason here is that outputs outputs will always be updated to the transaction either order or delivery or invoice in the update mode update mode only used to update the update the data into the database tables so database update will happen in the update mode only so remember this okay now let me again assign the output type is already there and uh, apply breakpoint here slash h and click on enter so debugging is switched on and click on save now now the debugger has been started so we should enable the update mode okay in the menu click on settings then change debugger profile to settings so the update debugging has been already switched on tick mark is there right okay click on save one more time and now click on f8 and click on save now okay now you see the message different message updating debugging has been started now the debugger has been started right and breakpoint also we have set in the program level okay let me click on f8 now f8 okay see the first breakpoint has been stopped now if i go inside let me click on f5 f5 and ours is the first segment fill e1 edk01 click on f5 again okay so i don't want to execute this much of code one by one so i don't want to click f5 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 again and again so what i will do simply click on f8 because i i already set a breakpoint here right so nothing to worry if you click on f8 it will come and stop here only click on f8 now see the yellow arrow mark came here now it stopped in the breakpoint okay as of now just double click on this uh, this even dk01 currency field as of now this field is holding nothing no value okay and if i click on f6 i don't want to go inside this function model right so i will click on f6 see this code this function model has been triggered and currency has been populated as usd so this is how the logic to update currency into even edk01 segment so similar way if you have any custom segments where you want to understand the logic this is how we should debug it and it is only for outbound idoc in upcoming classes we can debug different kind of idocs incoming idoc or um debugging the idoc in w19 transaction code okay we can debug in all possible ways and we'll learn together okay thank you everyone we'll meet in the next video bye bye